If a zombie apocalypse happened, what would be the first thing you did? I would eat humans and confuse the zombies. Head to an island. Never seen a zombie movie where they could swim, but I'm no expert. Go home and pack up the car with all my hiking supplies and food along with my wife, son, and dog and head up to my parents' place in northern Michigan. Would hope we could get all the way up there before things get too bad. But if not then we hike. A lot more isolated up there than the city. Has well water, dad has guns and we can grow stuff in the garden. Good place to ride something out. Give me some of that zombie coochie. Feel bad about the victims. A zombie apocalypse wouldn't actually be a massive issue in real life. The faster the zombies are the less time they'll last and if they're slow they'll be easily purged. Essentially lock your door for a few days and you're good to go. I cast my own bullets and load my own ammo. Because of this I am now critical to three or four different groups zombie plan, despite the fact I have not asked to be. So I am disassembling my press and lead pot getting all my stuff broken down and put in my kids jumbo red rider and then the fam and I are sitting on the porch to see who gets here first. Mostly because I have put all my effort into my the world is not ending and you are going to have to raise a family grow old and retire plan. It is not nearly as much fun as a good zombie plans, and if the world does end I am going to be in a bind cause all my eggs are in that basket. Go to the nearest Walmart with friends and family and barricade any windows or doors why Walmart well they have everything and I've seen that they have some secret doors good for hiding and they have guns so ooh 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 zombies go bye bye when they enter. And they have food and when the store runs out we're going to another store plus they have medical supplies etc honestly they got everything. If it happened over the weekend I probably wouldn't even notice until Monday so probably just play games, watch anime and eat junk until either the power goes out or Monday, whichever comes first. If it happened during the week I'd stand no chance of getting home so I'd probably just watch porn on the work computers or something. Try to be real edgy in my final moments. Move any rations I have to my attic, it's accessible only by ladder in my garage. Set the family up to outlast it safely. And if it ends up being a major zombie outbreak, we're in Maine, so we could head out into the woods or up a mountain to try and set up something for gardening, hunting, etc. I've thought too much about this. Find a ranch that was built before the 1900s. The kind of place that could function before modern technology. Then I'd try to live off the land. Head to the pet store. Everyone will be hitting Walmart and the grocery stores. Nobody ever thinks about pet stores. Cat and dog food are high quality, and I don't mean just the wet stuff. Dry kill will keep you going just as well as it does the dog. Get on a boat after stocking it up with a buttload of food and clean water. If the boat is big enough, I might be able to have a few tiny plants or healthy rodents to breed and grow for later nothing that takes up too much of my resources. Pray that zombies can't swim. Sail out to a calm sea area. According to the zombie survival guide that I read years ago, prisons are an ideal safe place. I was just thinking the other day though that a home depot would be a good choice too. First of course see what can be scrounged from the nearest pharmacy. The very first thing though, put on some running shoes. Stab a person that is a zombie that that I hated. They are already dead so they won't feel the pain that you stabbed them, and also raid area 51 to find them aliens so they can kill all zombies. Gather as many supplies and ammo as possible. Build a defensible heavily fenced in area on the top of the nearest mountain. Ditches, moats, razor wire, barbed wire, etc. Hidden traps, landmines and sniper hides. Live, until I couldn't live anymore. The most obvious thing no one comes up with, getting my hands on some armor. Some kind of self-made leather type of armor, or a motocross or downhill full body protection or so. Just something you can't bite through. Totally depends on the zombies, how the infection is spread, and how long it takes to turn. If these are the classic shambling Romero-esque zombies, starting with a single patient zero, Probably not much as I think it would be over before it even really began. If it's a 28 days later scenario, wherein hundreds, thousands are already pre-infected, that's a vastly different ball game. I'd probably purchase, 
loot whatever food, water, ammo I could and head deep into the woods. I wouldn't expect to live too long, tbh. Grab an ambulance from work, I'm an EMT, and head to the local gun shop. From there I would drive to Lake Michigan which is 5 hours from me and live out my days on Mackinac Island. Gather all the knives from the kitchen then move to my local phone store and probably steal several phones for signal and calling survivors then I move to a boat and swim out to the ocean and wait 60 days for the human flesh to rot completely at then come back and boom I survived. If I stayed in society they would consider me zombie bait most likely. So pack my things, buy the supplies I can, and move to a very secluded location. Buy some foraging and survival books as well. I become one with the wilderness. I also hope to whatever god is available at that given moment the zombie virus doesn't affect the wildlife. Hotwire the car my parents didn't take because its engine doesn't work well and take it to my school. My friends and I have made a pact that we would live in our school since it's big and has lots of hiding spots. Then we would kind of play it like a video game and if we die we respawn because fuck it. Loot. That 75 inch TV isn't gonna move itself. Everyone going to hardware stores and trying to arm up. Meanwhile I'll be Black Friday shopping as I live in America where everyone his guns and the apocalypse would be over in a week. It's basically a video game here with unlimited ammo, with schools being the bonus stage. Go to my grandparents hunting cabin. Plenty of guns. Ammo few people and could hunt, fish to survive. Check and see if my assignment is still due. Man's got to pass. Make sure that it's a zombie apocalypse before I just up and start shooting people. If that were a town wide prank to dress up as zombies dot 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 that would go bad real quick, real quick. <laughs>